Hi everyone, welcome here. My name is Taylor. If you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in today. We are filming today in Portland, Oregon. Very exciting, I've never been to Portland, so I was very excited to come here. And we're staying in this beautiful Airbnb tiny house. This tiny house is located in the Alberta Arts District, which is in walking distance to a lot of nice restaurants and really cool quaint shops. And it's also only a 15 minute drive to more downtown where there's the famous Powell's Bookstore and a lot of other places like that. There are actually three tiny houses located on this property, which is super cool. And we stayed in the beige one that is furthest away from when you first walk in the entrance. And we'll link all three of the tiny houses down below in the description if you're interested in checking them out. So I love the overall design of this house. It is just so aesthetically pleasing. I love just the minimal design. I am all for white crisp walls. The whole house just feels like a work of art and it's so neat. You can tell that there was such an attention to detail when designing and crafting and building this house. When you first walk in these beautiful French doors, the first thing that catches your eye is this mustard yellow couch. Mustard yellow is my all time favorite color. So I was naturally just drawn to this couch. I want this couch now. And to the left of the couch is this dining area with these tall bar stools. I just love the look of this. I like how there's a large window that you can look out I love the leather kind of texture on the chairs. I love just the simple plant hanging down. It's just a very inviting space. Going to the right of the couch, you have the kitchen and the kitchen is a long countertop and it has everything you need. There's a one cup Keurig, which is super convenient. I love the look of these stacked open shelves. They just look so minimal and clean. And then you have an induction stove top with a large sink and I'm all for the matte black faucet look. I also love how there's just a cute little window right above the sink so you can look out, get some fresh air, hear the birds chirping in the morning while you're doing your dishes. And I also think it's cool that one of the drawers actually opens up to reveal two trash cans. It's a great use of space because it eliminates visual clutter but also very easily accessible. And then the stairs take up most of the opposite side of the kitchen. I just love the natural wood look and they are really sturdy and you feel safe walking up them to get to the loft. Probably one of my favorite things because I'm a nerd and I like doing laundry is the conveniently placed washer and dryer combo that is at the end of the stairs and directly across from the fridge. This is something I definitely wished we had at our tiny house. It is so convenient and also the little nook above the washer and dryer is just so cute and a great use of space. Heading back into the further side of the tiny house is the restroom. And this restroom is fairly large for a tiny house. The shower is really big and you have everything you need. There's room to walk around. And I also think the sliding door is a great touch too and it adds some privacy for the restroom. Going up the stairs is a sleeping loft. It is pretty tight back there, but totally doable. I've said before, my husband is 6'3". If he can do it, you can do it. He crawls up there with no complaints and it's just a cozy little space. I also like the railing on one side of the loft. It just kind of looks visually appealing, but also it's practical for the loft for safety reasons. And on the opposite side of the loft above the dining area, you have another loft, which is primarily for storage. And you can also add some other decor up there too. Overall, I just love how minimal and clean this house feels. The horizontal shiplap lining the walls of the house just really moves your eye across the space and makes it feel visually bigger. Also, there's a ton of windows and the French doors too, which helps so much by bringing in some natural light and also moving your eye outward so you don't feel like you're in such a small space. I feel like I can breathe in this space. There's not too much decor, there's not too many bright colors, there's not too much going on visually that you can't focus and I just feel peaceful at rest. I told my husband and that if we were ever going to build another tiny house, it would be something like this. I just love 
how minimal it feels. I love the overall design of it. For an Airbnb, this is perfect. But if I were to live here full time, I would just wanna add some storage underneath the stairs. I would add a closet and just other storage bins to be able to store everything that I needed in order to live here. So that is the tiny house that we were staying in Portland in the Alberta Arts District. Again, I'll link it below if you wanna check out the Airbnb link. We loved staying in this house. Such a great design, minimal, clean, beautiful, and I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already so that you can see more minimalism, intentional living, tiny house content. Follow me on Instagram, like this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.